As shown in the previous lesson on box and whisker plots, certain statistical displays don't show the full story behind the data. Even though there could be different distributions in data, box and whisker plots can look identical. A different way to show the distribution is needed, and one of the additional ways to show this is called the violin plot. All a violin plot displays is the PDF of data, but turned vertically. Oftentimes, there will be a box and whisker plot inside of it as well to demonstrate the more common statistical measures like interquartile range, median, and the whiskers. The process is the same as we discussed in the histogram PDF to CDF lesson when calculating the statistics. However, once we get to the PDF stage, you take that PDF and rotate it vertically, and you get the violin plot. So with this example of PDF of temperatures, we flip the PDF on its side, and we add the box and whisker plot inside to provide context for the quartile and decile ranges. As of the spring of 2024, you will see this plot in the bottom right of the WhatsApp point visualization display. The advantage of using violin plots is that you can quickly see the full distribution of the data in context as well as where the individual points fall on the distribution. Another advantage specifically in the WhatsApp point viewer is that you can quickly see the raw data violin plot and distribution on the left and compare it with the bias corrected data on the right. If the field you've selected is indeed bias corrected, not all are in the NBM. In this case, you can see the raw data has a much narrower box and whisker plot compared to the bias corrected, which is broader. Overall, you can also see the distribution is slightly shifted towards more moist 2 meter dew points in the bias corrected data versus the raw data, which is slightly drier. Significant differences would be a good opportunity to explore why the bias correction data is different from the raw data.